how to upgrade your old used Mac Pro from 2009 or mid 2012 with USB 3.0. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a USB 3.0 adapter card into your Mac Pro. Uh, maybe you have seen some of my previous tutorials in which I also showed you how to install an NVMe, update the graphics card and so on. But since I have a lot of big video files, what I'm simply going to do today is install A, the adapter card, and then use this one terabyte solid state drive uh, and the Inatec USB 3.0 case to see what performance we get when, for example, I copy large video files because that's my primary use for this machine. I do a lot of my video editing. I mean, I mean do, I'm, I'm doing all my video editing on this machine. And yes, maybe you have seen it on the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference. They announced the new Mac Pro. So yes, maybe later on I'm going to get that for my business. But for now, we're going to have a closer look at the Inatec KT4004 uh, USB expansion card. And you see it's specifically designed for the Mac Pro. Obviously, there are different USB 3.0 card manufacturers for the Mac. And they can be a little bit differently designed. I mean, the PCB. I show this to you in a second. So what we are simply going to do, this is the introductory part. In part 2A, I'm going to do an unboxing, put everything together. And then in part 2B, we're going to install it inside the Mac. And then in part 3, for which you can always find the navigation below in the video description, we're going to do speed test. From all I can tell, my suspicion is that when, you, when I put this in, that it's probably somewhere going to be in between the internal SATA 2 ports. They should bring you 250. If you take a PCIe expansion card for setup three, you should get around 500. And my guess with the budget Inatec card, I'm probably gonna end up somewhere in between, but that's uh, something I will see in a second. Obviously, I also made a tutorial how you can use the NVMe for super fast uh, speeds when you copy large video files, but obviously NVMe is internal. And also the SATA 2 port or the SATA 3 expansion card is internal. And I really want a fast SSD that's inside here so that maybe I can copy some of my project files on here and carry, carry it around a little bit more easily and also make it faster. For example, copying uh, all the video footage that I'm, for example, recording right now onto the machine. Obviously, if you copy from your DSLR camera, with USB 3.0, it will be much faster than USB 2.0. Guys, without further ado, I'm excited you're here. Let's just uh, get started with part two, the unboxing and then the installation. Very nice, guys. Uh, right now, we jump to part 2A. I'm gonna quickly show you how I put everything together. And uh, yeah, I mean, the Inatec USB 3.0 case, I already have that for quite some time. Uh, usually, I always would connect this to my two point, USB 2.0 core, Port, uh, despite the fact it's USB 3.0 and then I have this used one terabyte uh, solid state drive which we're going to put in here but for now we want to have a closer look at the Inatec USB 3.0 card itself uh, simply because when you purchase these, these cards there are different manufacturers and price ranges uh, in this case, the Inatec is a really good value card for me. It has a really good price. And, uh, but keep in mind that obviously it uses a certain amount of PCI Express lanes. I would guess maybe two lanes. Uh, so I can show this to you here then. The point that I want to make is the transfer speed is also limited by how many lanes, for example, the card can deliver because the Mac Pro has USB 2.0. With regard to the USB 3.0 cases, obviously there are different cases. So let me quickly put this in because with the Inatec case, it actually is a completely hassle-free design. You just have this lock button here and you unlock it and you can just pull it open and then just slide your SSD right in there. Obviously you wanna pay attention to put it with a top side and you don't need anything. You don't need a screw, you, you just pull it in very gently, flip it, close it, and then lock it and you're ready to go. So that's really cool. And I think this combination will work much better than just uh, taking this USB 3.0 case and connecting it to USB 2.0. That way I never get the full speed. So let's just jump to part 2B and install this card and then we are ready for the speed test. So let's jump to part 2B, the install. Excellent, we jump to part uh, 2B 
And if you have watched any of my other Mac Pro upgrade videos, you may be already a little bit familiar with this kind of setup. Um, this Mac Pro already is heavily modded. I put in a Sapphire RX 580. I put in an NVMe drive here. I even modded some of the fans with Noctua fans here in the CPU and in the power supply. So I've upgraded almost everything that I can. Maybe I could put in a little bit more memory, something like this. But what I'm definitely missing is this USB 3.0 card. And yes, it's a little bit of a special setup. Uh, the bottom lane, uh, bottom slot is 16 lanes. The second slot is 16 lanes. And then the top four, uh, the top two slots are four lanes each. So well, basically you can pick and choose where you put the graphics card. Obviously you could put the graphics card in the bottom slot that has also 16 lanes. However, I decided to put the graphics card here because I feel like the back plate uh, if there's a lot of load on the GPU that can get also a little bit warm and I just feel it gets a little bit stays a little bit cooler as opposed to me putting it in the slot one. It's not to say that a lot of people seem to just run it just fine in a slot one as well. It's just my particular setup and you can choose any combination that you would like to choose. Personally, I'm going to test the Inatech Tech card right now in the bottom slot going in very very easily. So, so guys without further ado, let's jump to part three and jump into the computer and we're gonna connect the external one terabyte SSD that I just prepared for my big video files and uh, let's run the performance test. So let's jump to part three. I'm excited you're here, let's get started. Excellent guys, then right now I jumped into the computer, the card is installed, the system booted up just fine. So let's quickly check this in the system settings. You just go to about this Mac and then to the system report and inside the system report, you have a section USB and you can scroll down here and look at all your USB devices. Obviously USB 2.0 is the internal USB bus. And here it has detected the USB card fully automatically. I didn't have to install a driver. So that's really easy. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. And one thing I would like to test, it's actually tested first once with the USB 2.0 port and then second test it with the USB 3.0 port so that we can see what performance difference we're actually going to get. And for this, I downloaded the Blackmagic Disk Speed app. So let's quickly open this up, select the target drive. That's important. Obviously, I have different drives. I have my internal NVMe and I have the external SSD that I showed you uh, before. It's called Data One, right now connected at the USB 2.0 port. And we're also going to test both so that we see a nice before and after and I also prepared like a document right here so that you can see the different speeds obviously with S802 you can expect 250 with S803 500 but now we're going to do the first test and as you can see on the USB 2.0 port the speeds of the SSD are incredibly slow so let's uh, quickly stop that and enter maybe 26 here and then let me let me just quickly unplug this in the USB 3.0 port. And as you can see here, now my one terabyte Samsung SSD is connected via USB 3.0, and that should be much, much faster for transferring data. So let's hit the speed test again. And right off the bat, we see much faster speeds. So again, I'm gonna note this down. What's the highest that I see? 370 about that. So you can see it's almost what I predicted in the introductory part that the USB 3.0 speed with the external SSD is somewhere between S802 and S803. Obviously, the S802 standards use a protocol, it's called AHCI, so I'm not exactly sure about USB 3.0, but the only thing that's really faster is the NVMe standard, but obviously we are talking right now about the adapter card because what I mainly want to do is uh, transfer files. Although a viewer recently commented about a crazy hack where he just uh, took out the DVD drive out of his Mac Pro and then he put, uh, let the cable, the S802 cable hang out and then he would copy the data that way. Obviously that will still be a little bit slower than USB 3.0 and obviously you cannot use S802. For example, if you're regularly like me, copy large uh, amounts of files, or lots and lots of gigabytes from your digital camera to your computer. So USB is actually kind of useful. And as I can see, the Inatech card is fairly fast given the low price point. However, there's one downside that I discovered 
and that's uh, I'm getting a little bit of interference uh, and the interference is significant enough to mess with my uh, magic mouse. So let me quickly turn this on because so far uh, I used the cable mouse and let's see whether the system detects the Bluetooth magic mouse right here and you see it has connected and yeah the magic mouse kind of works but they see I hope this shows it suddenly becomes a little bit choppy so with the keyboard it's not that noticeable but I feel the Inatech card uh, maybe when they designed the card or maybe it's the processor so something probably causes a little bit of interference with the Bluetooth to the point where I'm not really sure how well this is going to work long term so maybe I'm going to test this for a few days and then I'm going to be back. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm swapping the PCI slots. Maybe that makes a difference, but be prepared when you install a USB 3.0 card that it may actually interfere with your Bluetooth. And uh, that's the only downside I can see so far. So guys, this concludes the speed test of the Inatec KT4004 USB 3.0 card for the Mac Pro. And uh, yeah, let's uh, quickly jump to the part for summary and conclusion and i'll let you know how this worked out for me over the next couple of days excellent guys this concludes the mac pro upgrade with the inatech usb 3.0 card and so far i can say obviously it's a good solution especially if you're planning to connect external ssds to your mac pro that uh, need a lot of data transfer speeds then as i have shown as i have shown you in the test part with USB 2.0, it's just too slow and uh, Inatech case and USB 3.0 card can make your Mac Pro definitely faster. Only downside that I noticed and I also discussed this in a test is that when you install the card that the Bluetooth signal can have some interference. And for me, uh, I especially noticed this in the Magic Mouse uh, with a noticeable decline in signal strength. So that's a little bit of a trade-off here. Uh, when you connect the drive and you copy large files of data, uh, when the drive is connected, the signal is just not, in my opinion, strong enough. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, uh, from the transfer speed standpoint, I definitely give it a thumbs up. That's pretty nice. So maybe you can connect a cable mouse. It depends on your particular circumstance. I definitely invite you to head over to my channel page as well. I show this to you here because obviously I've done a lot of upgrades over time to this Mac Pro. So maybe you want to see how to upgrade the graphics card or how to upgrade the CPU or maybe even how to put in an NVMe drive. That was super fast and fun to do. I enjoyed that a lot as well. And like I showed you just a second ago on my channel page in the computer slash Mac Pro playlist, you find a lot of tutorials for that as well. Or you just look in the video description. Awesome for tuning in. I see a subscriber and in the next video, have fun with your upgraded and faster Mac Pro. All the best to you, take care. And guys, if you are interested, I also started a new playlist on my channel where I review notebook bags and backpacks. And I have this gray Inatech notebook bag here as well. So you might wanna check this out in case you have, uh, in case you are still looking for a laptop bag, uh, you can find that on my channel page in the appropriate playlist. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video, all the best to you, take care.